We're back. For the moment. I'm going to go, well, actually I shouldn't bother. I was going to go ask Albert to hit the phone because I have been so focused on this, I haven't paid attention. Yeah, you did! Yeah, you did! Yeah, you did! I didn't want another Actually, you know what? I will ask him because I can bring him. I can bring him.
We are rejoining you here in the bottom of the third, like I mentioned earlier, although I don't think this was caught on the first stream. We apologize that our network is kind of spotty out here as Hope Burke is at the plate. She pops that one out to shortstop. Clackamas jumped out to a 2 nothing lead in the top of this inning. There was a home run hit, uh, and now the Saints have fought back. They have now tied it at two and have runners on second and third as that brings up Gina Allen. There is only one out here in the bottom of the third and a 2-2 game as that first pitch is not there. It's ball one and the count now 1-0. and Here's the 1-0 pitch now to Allen as that one is dribbled to the shortstop. Throw over to first is in time. I believe, no, it was not in time. It was... You saw some celebration from both sides. It is not in time, and the Saints have loaded the bases once again with only one out. As now we have a timeout, and I believe the Clackamas coach is going to come over to the umpire and maybe ask for a review on that. Terry Davis and Faith Hebert are two umpires today. As everything looks like it will stand. Bases loaded here for the Saints in the bottom of the third in a 2-2 game with only one gone. So now that'll bring up Lily Bravo. Number nine, Annalisa Zamora is on the mound for the Cougars. Here's the first pitch now to Bravo as she dribbles that one to shortstop. Throw over to first is in time. And, and everyone, I believe, stays where they are. So now there's two gone. As that will now bring up Jasmine Jasmine Kappas 
Runners on second and third with two gone. As that first pitch is in there for a strike and it's 0 and 1. So now the 0 1 pitch here as it's fouled back and it's 0 and 2. Oh, and two the count now. Pitch is just outside. One and two. Peyton Foreman on third. As that one is popped back into the trees. Pinch running for Hope Burke. Oh, and two remains the count here on Capus. Pitch on the way. And that one is in there. Strike three. And that will end the inning. Again, we apologize rejoining you late due to our spotty connection issues that we had that we had to deal with early in this game. Got a pitching change on the mound for the Mount Hood Saints as pitching now is number 15, uh, Olivia. Or number 15, Camille Schmitz, excuse me. It's our first game back this season. Still getting all the bugs worked out. So here is Sarah Ellerton, as she will lead off for the Cougars here in the top of the fourth. First pitch here to Ellerton is outside for ball one. So one ball and no strike. Next pitch on the way is a little outside and it's 2-0. and That one outside as well. Three balls and no strikes on Sarah Fullerton. Her average is 211 as the 3 0 is down low, and it's a four pitch walk. Allie Young is up next for Clackamas. Lily Bravo for the Saints is catching.
As now the first pitch here to Young is up high for ball one. This is game one of our doubleheader. The Mount Hood Saints 13-0 undefeated this season. Opening their first series at home as the next pitch is fouled away over the third base dugout. And it's one ball, one strike. Clockmas comes into this game seven and three. They are unbeaten on the road. One, one pitch is there one and two. These two teams played close series last season as they look to do it again as that one is hit into center field for a base hit as everyone will advance the base and now the Cougars have first and second with nobody out. That'll bring up Josh, Jocelyn Rush. So here's the first pitch to rush as that one is down low, but it's there for a called strike and it's own one. No balls, one strike. Next pitch on the way. Down the middle, 0 and 2. Ellerton on second, Young on first, the pitch. And it's right down Broadway, one, two, three. She goes down on strikes for out number one. That'll bring up Kira Motley. First and second for the Cougars, one out here, top, top four of game one of our doubleheader. First pitch on its way is in there for a called strike, 0-1. No balls and one strike is the count. In a very competitive game thus far, a bunt down the line as it's not going to be played. Bases are loaded for the Cougars with one out. So that'll bring us back to the top of the order. Skyler Grossbeck. You might have heard that name before. That's because she is a multi-athlete. She played basketball. So if you heard me say her name before, it was because she was a basketball player. And here she is, the sophomore. To hopefully drive in some more runs for her team. Saints hoping for a stop on defense. Here's the first pitch to Grossbeck from Schmitz. Down the middle, 0 1. Grossbeck, that's a 375. Next pitch outside, 1 and 1. One, one pitch, dribble to shortstop, throw home in time, and they get the run at home. So there's no additional scoring for the Cougars, and that is out number two. So the smart play there from the shortstop to throw it at home so that Clackamas does not add a run, but it means the bases are loaded once again. So that brings up Riley Ryan. 
who bats a 571. First pitch to her on the way, down the middle for strike one. Cougars and Saints split the series last year in Gresham as that one popped up underneath and it's going to get out of play and it hits somebody, but it looks like they're okay. As he gives a little bit of a wave there. And now he gives the double thumbs up. Looked like it perhaps kind of grazed him on the shoulder a little bit, so... Just going to shake it off. He seems to be okay. That one is fouled back. Next pitch down the middle. Strike number three. And the Saints get out of a huge jam. They leave the bases loaded for the Cougars as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Izzy Brock Miller at the plate now for the Saints as she dribbles that one down the third baseline and foul. And it's 0-2 to start the fourth for the Saints. So 0-2 the count here as that pitch is just outside, 1-2. and two. Alyssa Zamora on the mound for the Cougars. 1-2 pitch. Swing and a dribble at a third. Throw over to first is in time for out number one. So that'll bring up the other Brock Miller. And that would be Izzy. Here is Izzy Brock Miller now as she dribbles or she hits that one for a base hit into left field. Rounding first, she's going to stay there. And now the Saints have one on with one gone. That brings up Bella Carrazzo now for Mount Hood, who trailed in this game 2 nothing, and now have a 3-2 lead. As that pitch is in there for a called strike, it's 0-1. Cougars have five hits in this game. Saints with four. Each team with two errors. 
Next pitch on its way here is dribble to shortstop. Here's the throw to second. It's in. Oh, she lost the ball. Brock Miller safe at second. And now the Saints have two on with still only one gone. So that brings up Madison Walker here. Number 22. As the first pitch to her is down low, but in there for a called strike. So you got Izzy Brockmiller on second, Bella Carrazzo on first. Next pitch on its way to Walker up high. And it's one ball, one strike. Correction on who's on first. That is actually Ava Carroll. She is the one on first. So Brock Miller on second. And Carroll on first. As Walker stands at the plate with a 1-1 one, one, one count. Next pitch. Into left field. And it is gone, but it's foul. No, it's fair. They call it a home run. Oh, my goodness. It seemed like it was going foul, but it stays fair. And even if we had shown you that, it would have been too close because you would have seen it go over the foul post anyway. So it is a fair ball. It's a home run. Madison Walker with a three-run shot, and the Saints now lead 6-2. Next batter, Peyton Foreman, hits that one into right field. She rounds first, gets to second safely, and the Saints start to feel some momentum here. A three-run shot by Madison Walker that was questionable by the Clackamas defense. And to us, it kind of seemed foul, but it was hard to tell. The umpire at the plate got the best look down the line and he called it fair. So now the Saints have a six to two lead here in game one of our doubleheader. Clackamas who had a two nothing lead have now given up the last six, six unanswered points here for the Saints. So now here's Hope Burke. First pitch now to Burke is down low for ball one. Number 12, Kaylee Davis is now pinch running for Peyton Foreman. It's a 1 0 count here to Burke. The pitch is down low and it gets away, and Davis will steal third on the wild pitch. So now the Saints have a runner in scoring position just 60 feet away. It's a 2-0 count here on Hope Burke. Next pitch, down the middle, 2-1. and one. Here's a 2-0 count. That one is in there, and now it's 2-2. Two two. It was 2-1. So two straight strikes to Burke. 
So now it's two balls, two strikes. Still only one out, runner on third. And the next pitch is outside. And that will make the count full. Three and two here to Burke. As she hits that one to third, as the throw over to first is in time, and there's two gone. Davis will stay on third. That'll bring up Gina Allen. Gina Allen bats a 444. She flew out to right field back in inning number two. First pitch is dribbled down the line, foul, 0-1. Owen won the count here to Allen as she pops that one up into right, back at the wall, it hits the wall. Now it's into right center. She gets to third, Davis, who already scored. It's a two out triple, and the Saints now lead it seven to two. Here's Lily Bravo. Saints now with a five run lead. Runner again on third in scoring position. First pitch down the middle. Called strike, it's 0 1. No balls, one strike here to Bravo. Next pitch, it's lifted out towards center field. It's back towards us, and it is gone! Lily Bravo, two-run shot into center as it just goes over our camera, and the Saints now have a 9-2 to two lead. Madison Walker had a three-run shot earlier in this inning, and now Lily Bravo adds on to that with a two-run shot. And the Saints, who are down 2 nothing to start this game, have scored nine unanswered and have a seven-run lead here in the bottom of the fourth. Next batter will be Jasmine Kappas. We have a pitching change here for the Cougars. Annalisa Zamora's night is done. Number 88, Noel Julison taking over. Jasmine Kappas. Lizzie Brockmiller, and then Izzy Brockmiller. If we get there, there are two outs here in the bottom half of this fourth inning. 
of our first of two this afternoon. We have a new batter. Instead of Jasmine Kappas, it is Sarah Martin. So Sarah Martin hit a couple of home runs last season. Saints starting to feel a little bit of life here as they have a seven run lead. First pitch to Martin is inside and it's one and out. Next pitch to Sarah Martin, dribbled past the pitcher and into center field for a base hit. Martin will get to first and she will stay there. Two out single for Sarah Martin. And once again, the Saints have runners on the bases. Nine to two lead they have, as that'll bring up Lizzie Brock Miller. First pitch is outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes here to Brock Miller. Second pitch on the way, foul back, one and one. One ball and one strike. Brock Miller's next. Dribble down the line and foul. One and two. One ball, two strikes here on Lizzie. Next pitch, in there, but not quite there for the umpire, and it's two and two. It's all deuces up there, two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Julison looks and fires. Swing and a ball popped up underneath. Catch is made by the catcher for out number three, and that'll end inning number four, but not before the Saints tack on six additional runs. And what was a 2 nothing deficit turned into a 3-2 lead. It is now 9-2 to two at the end of four. Violet Lattice will lead off the top of the fifth. Cougars who are up two, now down by seven. Camille Schmitz remains on the mound for the Saints.
A little bit of a delay before we start this fifth inning. Umpire just had a discussion with the head coach of Clackamas, Jessica Poole. Assistants Katie Aiden, Sierra Woods, and Jeff Kovalt. As the first pitch is in there for a strike and it's 0 1. Saints are led by their head coach, Brittany Hendrickson, as the next pitch is in there. It's 0 2. Assistants Taylor Gold. Kayla Gron and Ryan Snadowski. No balls, two strikes here at the count. As that one is popped up into foul territory underneath, and the catch is made. What a catch! Izzy Brock Miller is the one who got underneath and made the catch, and there's one gone here in the fifth. Here's Sophia Reyes. Saints leading this game 9-2 in which they had trailed 2-0 early on. And the first pitch is in there for a called strike. And it's 0-1. No balls and one strike here to Reyes. Down the middle 0-2. No balls, two strikes. The pitch popped up in play. Brock Miller underneath. She makes the catch, and there's two gone. So now it is Annalisa Zamora, the starting pitcher who was taken out just an inning ago. First pitch to her is outside for ball one. No balls, one, there one ball, no strikes. The pitch in there, it's one and one. Schmitz against Zamora. The pitch lifted out into foul territory, and it hits the pole of the batting cage. So the count remains 0-2. 1-2 the count. As that one popped into play, back at the scoreboard, it's off the scoreboard and gone. A solo shot into left center from Annalisa Zamora cuts the deficit one less as it's now nine to three. And now both teams with two home runs in the game. So that'll bring up Sarah Ellerton as she tries to keep the streak going here for the Cougars. Still down by six. With two at-bats left after this for Clackamas. First pitch to Ellerton is in there, and it's 0-1. Next pitch on its way, and that one is also in there. It's 0 2. So Zamora hits that one on two outs as that pitch is down low and away, and it's 1 and 2.
One ball, two strikes here to Ellerton. The pitch, right down the middle, struck her out looking, and that will take us to the bottom of the fifth, but not before the Clackamas Cougars add an additional run. They now have three, but are still down by six. It's nine to three, halfway through five. Mother Nature has taken its toll on us today as the wind is starting to pick up as it is Izzy Brockmiller to lead off the bottom of the fifth. That first pitch was down low. It's one ball, no strikes. Noel Julison returns to the mound for the Cougars as that one is dribbled down the first baseline, but foul, and it's one and one. One ball and one strike here on Brock Miller. As that one hit to the shortstop, here's the throw to first. It's in time for one, number one. So one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Saints leading this game nine to three. Still got another game coming your way after this one. Saints and Cougars split the season series in Gresham last season. As the first pitch to Carrazzo is down low and away for ball one. I'm sorry, that is Ava Carroll now at the plate for the Saints. Cougars jumped out to a 2-0 lead early in the third inning. The Saints battled back, took a 3-2 lead and extended that an inning later. Jumped out 9-2. Clackamas got a home run in the top of this inning, as they have now brought it back to a six-run game, nine to three, as that one was just outside. Two balls and no strikes here, the count on Carroll. Next pitch on its way. Did she go? She did not. Three balls and no strikes here to Ava Carroll. Next pitch is down low and a four pitch walk as Carroll will go to first and the Saints have one on with one gone as that will bring up Madison Walker. She had a home run in the last inning. Sarah Martin last season in a game had home runs back to back. As the first pitch to Walker is inside, that's ball one. Next pitch to Walker is in there for a strike, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike to Madison Walker with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. That one is up a little bit high. Check back to first, but Carroll is back there safely. 
Two balls and a strike here. The count on Walker. Next pitch on the way down low. Ball three. Both these teams playing conference play for the first time this season. They will meet in Clackamas later this year. That pitch is in there and the count goes full on Matty Walker. Three balls and two strikes, Madison Walker. The pitch. Dribble down the line to third, throw over to second is in time, but they won't get Walker at first. But Carroll is out at second, and there's two away here in the bottom of the fifth. Peyton Foreman now. She had a double in the last inning. She singled early on in the game, and she dribbles that one over. Throw to first is in time for out number three. As the Saints will not add any runs this inning, the Cougars able to hold them. As we go to the sixth, the Saints still holding on to that 9-3 lead. I wanted to bring this up earlier. But our connection was unstable. I wanted to wait for a good moment, and I believe we do have one now. Uh, you might be noticing the great camera work. That is thanks to the amazing cameraman, Janice Wilson. He is back with me for another season. Janice, just a beautiful day we're having. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful day outside right now. How does it feel to be back for another Mountlet season? Oh, it's great. Well, it's a softball team here. Well, you can credit him with all the excellent camera work you are seeing here. We have... Two games to bring you this afternoon. Two more tomorrow. As the weather is starting to improve just a tiny bit here in the Portland slash Gresham area. 68 degrees and sunny. Blue sky. Absolutely beautiful. Broke out the sunscreen for the first time in a few months. And just to think, three short months ago, we had ice and snow. Leading off here for the Cougars is Allie Young as she takes that first pitch up high for ball one. One ball, no strikes here on Young. The pitch from Schmidt as she hits that one foul. And it's one and one. Saints nine, Cougars three, top of the sixth. Game one of two on this lovely Friday. Schmidt the pitch, and that one hits the dugout. And it's one and two. The dugout that had been repaired just a few short months ago, it was taken down by a tree branch that had fallen due to the ice storm here in Gresham back in December. A lot of this field was destroyed, but they have done a great job patching things up just in time for the first Saints home game of 2024. That pitch is inside, gets away, but there are no runners on base to advance. As now the count goes to two balls and two strikes. That pitch down low and the count goes full. I was here for a part of basketball season, and it was always kind of gloom to see, drive by this field and see it so beaten down and destroyed. But they have lightened things up as that one popped, and Brock Miller backs up. She makes the catch for out number one. The heaviness and weight of the ice on the tree branches caused so many limbs to come down. There were limbs everywhere. Took out a few panels of the fence back here. Took out... The Mount Hood dug out, took out some portion of the batting cage, but everything has been repaired since then. 
As that first pitch is in for a strike, it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Jocelyn Rush. That one outside, and it's 1-2. Schmidt looks and fires. She picks it up, throws to first in time, and there's two away. So that'll bring up Kira Motley. Still a, a little bit muddy back here, but field is main field is in good condition. Just in time for the start of the season. First pitch on its way. Carol back and she can't get there. She misplaced it for a second. Rounding first, getting to second. Staying there is Rush. And it's a two-out double for the Cougars. Here in the top of the sixth. Schmidt looks and fires. Down low for ball one. That pitch not there as well. Two balls, no strikes. Schmitz the windup. Dribble down the line. Save is made. Throw to first. Is not in time. It was close. But safe at first is the call. As that drives a run home for the Cougars, it's now 9-4 to four with a runner on. That brings us back to the top of the order. Skyler Grossbeck. The pitch on the way is in there for a called strike, 0-1. Schmitz the wind up and the delivery. Just up high. One ball and one strike. One one the count. Pitch. Lifted out into left field. Underneath. Brenna Wilson cannot make the catch. Runners are rounding. Throw to second is not in time. And a two out double for Grossbeck. Puts runners on second and third with two gone here in the top of the sixth. Two plays back to back. So close. Both going the way of the Cougars. As now we have a meeting at the mound between pitcher and catcher and the rest of the infield. Cougars out a run here in the sixth. In a five-run game, 9-4 is the lead for the Saints. These two teams play each other very well. Couldn't ask for a better game to start conference play here. In the Northwest Athletic Conference. 
Got the basketball championships wrapping up this weekend in Pasco. Softball getting started. Baseball as well. Here's Riley Ryan, the first pitch. Dribble down the line, right to first, as that will be out number three, and that will take us to the bottom of the sixth. The Cougars had a run, but they're still down by five. Only one more chance as we go to the Saints, perhaps, last at-bats. If they don't need a bat in the bottom of the seventh, it's nine to four at the middle of six. Brenna Wilson will lead the Saints here in the bottom half for the sixth. As that first pitch is down low, oh, and ball one. Brenna Wilson, the sophomore from Jun Junction City, played with this team last year. As she faces a 1 0 count. 2 0. Two balls and no strikes here to Brenna Wilson. Next pitch on the way is hit foul as it goes off her ankle. Shakes it off. And it's 2 and 1. Two under Brenna Wilson is down the line in there, two and two. Two two to Brenna Wilson is fouled back off the tree. So the count remains the same. Two and two, the count once again, the pitch. Down low and the count is full. Three and two on Brenna Wilson. She dribbles it down the line, it's a foul ball. As it reaches all the way to the fence. Three balls, two strikes on Brenna Wilson once again. Pitch from Julison, lifted out, foul over the first base dugout. So the count remains three and two once again. Brenna Wilson once again facing a 3-2 count. 
Julis in the set. Fires. Dribble the third, picks it up, throw to first, is in time for out number one. So here's Gina Allen. That pitch is outside for ball one. One oh count. Hit to shortstop. Throw to first is in time to down. Two up, two down for the Cougars thus far. So now Lily Bravo looking to add some insurance for the Saints here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. As the first pitch to her is down low. That's ball one. Cougars will have their final chance in the top of the seventh, down by five. 1-0 -oh count, the pitch. Dribble to the pitcher. Julison flips to first. It's over the first baseman's head. Safe at first is Bravo on an air from the pitcher. And the Saints survive here on two outs with a runner on first. So Sarah Martin. I would say Sarah era era, but I don't want to be copyrighted by our lovely public address, Albert Hinsley, as that is his known catchphrase for Sarah Martin as she takes that first pitch in for a called strike, and it's 0-1. Hensley had names for most of the players last season. It was always fun to hear him announce when they came to bat. Sarah Martin swings and misses. Throwback to first nut. Going to be called for anything, and it's 0-2. Oh, and two to Sarah Martin. Outside, one and two. Sarah Martin, also a sophomore, played with the team last year as she takes ball two in the dirt. Saints nine, Cougars four. Game two comes your way next. Julison sets and delivers. Martin dribbles that one to first, or the shortstop cannot be played. Martin will stay on first. Bravo will go to third. And now the Saints have runners on the corners. Another error by Clackamas. This one by the shortstop. And the Saints have two with one in scoring position up by five, trying to add some insurance. Here in the sixth. That first pitch is just a high. And the count 1-0 and oh on Brock Miller. She lifts that one out into right, but the catch is going to be made there in right field as the catch is made by Allie Young, as that will do it for the six. The Saints do not add any insurance, but they hold a five-run lead as Clockamus will get their last chance here in game one, down nine to four.
Violet Lattice will lead off here for the Cougars. Last three outs they have down by five. She takes the first pitch up high. It's ball one as Schmitz fires, and that one is also a bit high. Two balls, no strikes. Two and zero count. Dribble the second, throw to first in time, one down. As the play is made there by Madison Walker. So now that'll bring up Sophia Reyes. As she takes the first pitch up high for ball one. Saints two outs away from getting their first win at home this season in their first home game. Remaining perfect on the year would be 14-0. Schmitz fires. Lifted out into right, and the catch is made. What a catch by Naturel Perez for out number two. So that'll bring up Sarah Ellerton. With any chance the Cougars have down to their final out, still down by five here to the Saints. And the first pitch from Schmidt is in there for a called strike, and now they're two strikes away. Saints trailed early two to nothing. Cougars led in the third. Have not led since that one popped up and it is gonna get out of play. Almost, almost caught by Gina Allen out there in right field. And now the count goes to 0-2 and, and the Saints are a strike away. And now Camille Schmitz asking the umpire for a new ball. Owen oh, to the count here to Ellerton. Top seven. And that one is just a bit outside. It's one and two. Saints leading nine to four. Will that be the final? That one into center and it's off the wall. Rounding first is Ellerton. She will stay there. It's a two out single and the Cougars still have a little spark. That'll bring up Allie Young. Runner on first, two gone, top seven, nine, four, Saints lead. Camille Schmitz looks and fires. And that one is in there for a called strike, 0 and 1. Schmitz the windup. Lifted out into left field. Underneath. The catch is made by Brenna Wilson to end it. And the Saints will take game one by a final of nine to four. They remain perfect on the year, 14 and 0. And they win their first home game. We'll see if they can win their first home series as we still have a second game coming up momentarily. The final in game one. Mount Hood nine and Clackham is four.